Hi, my name's Sambo Patrick. I'm a speaker and author and naturopath and today I'm going to be talking about high testosterone levels in women and how they can affect you. Now, testosterone is a hormone that ladies produce and it should be in a nice balanced um, way but for a lot of women, particularly in Western societies, we're actually pushing it up. Now, when it pushes up, I've made a little clip about that, we get all sorts of untoward symptoms, we can become infertile, get quite aggro and um, quite a few other things. This is more about how to stop that happening or how to manage it if you are suffering with that. So the other name for high testosterone is a issue called polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS and typically medically they'll manage that by putting you on the pill or putting on diabetic medication. Now naturally what I know about hormones is if we can drop testosterone through its corresponding hormone which is called oxytocin you can actually treat it okay yourself. So oxytocin is the love drug, so anything that makes us feel in love or nurtured or secure will drop testosterone. So one thing I'll get women to do is particularly, if, let's say work's their point of stress and they're zipping around all day at work and they really feel under pressure and under pump and they're starting to get like a rubber band by the end of the day that they're gonna snap. Now rather than going and picking your kids up when you're feeling like that, you can, try and increase your oxytocin. So either give yourself a hug, or when you greet your children, give them a beautiful hug, and really try and forget work. Or get your partner to give you a hug. Uh, there's a lot of other ways you can rise, um, boost up your oxytocin levels. Um, I've got quite a few things listed in this book which I've written on testosterone in women. It's called Beauty and the Beast Within, and you can get that off my websites. Um, the other way is to manage stress. And some big things I've noticed with stress and women is that we try and, there's a couple of things. One, we try and do too much with a 24 hour period. So we're trying to do 30 hours worth in 24. So be very mindful of what you're trying to squeeze into one day. And instead of trying to squeeze everything in, how about you leave two or three hours with nothing to do? So pretty much guarantee they'll fill up with something. Um, so time's a biggie. Expectations of yourself, which is, often comes down to time frame. So we'll say, right by this weekend, I'll have this done. Often the time frames are self-imposed, so roll it out further. Um, just, you know, 51% is often fine. We don't need high distinctions in everything in life, including work. And um, just be mindful to what you're saying yes to. No is a really powerful word, and the more often we really should use no as much as we use yes and stop trying to people please. Meditation, yoga, chamomile tea, lavender oil are also beautiful ways to drop stress. Um, if you need any more help with it, please just look on my website. I've got lots of little tips, um, books, resources and blogs. And um, failing all of that, send me an email. Thank you.